Hey there, we just finished learning all about shapes um, and now we are ready to move on to numbers. And numbers are um, like the numbers that we count uh, in the morning. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we keep counting up from there. So we're gonna start with the number one and we're going to learn how to um, look at one and know its name uh, and also how to write the number one and how to find things that are one like one of something how to find one of something around you so let me show you the number one if you don't already try to picture in your mind what you think the number one looks like does it look like this yes this is the number one can you say one with me one all right, so uh, let me show you some examples of one of something around me. All right, so I was looking around our classroom and I found one Batmobile and one Hammer Shark. Um, do you um, see any things around you that uh, is one? Like you could grab one of something, maybe. Um, there's Legos around you, you could grab one Lego or um, a book maybe, one book. Go ahead and have a look, see if you see anything around you that there's one of. There's also one of you. There's one of you watching this video. There's one of me talking to you in this video. So that's cool, right? Um, all right, so we're gonna read a, a story called One More Dino on the Floor. Um, and then we're going to learn how to write the number one. All right, so one more dino on the floor. And this is written by Kelly Staring Lions. And if Kelly wrote the words, that means she is the author. Very good. And um, Luke Flowers made the pictures. So he is the illustrator. Oh my gosh, friends. We do this so many times. I feel like you guys are going to be experts. You're going to be so good at who the author and illustrator are in your stories. Way to go. All right. One dino stands upon the sand. She hums and drums a one girl band. She starts to wiggle head to feet, then bops and boogies to the beat. She hears a swish. What's that? One more. One more dino on the floor. All right, so there's one of her, and then one more dino is coming onto the floor. All right, so one and one. Good. Two. Now there's two. Two dinos grace the place with flair. They waltz in time, a classy pair. They flip and twirl with poise and charm and sway together, arm in arm. They hear a swish. Watch this. One more. One more dino on the floor. Good. So there were two, and now one more is joining them on the floor. Let's see how many there are now. Three. Three, three dinos showing off their style from side to side. They rock and smile. They slick their spikes and dip a knee. Their doggy is the one to see. They hear a swish. What's this? One more. Can you say it with me, friends? One more dino on the floor. All right, so there were three dinos. One more is joining. So how many will that be? Four. Four dinos frolic face to face with country sass and steady pace. They swing their partner round and round, then hook the next, one lost, one found. They hear a swish, what's this? One more? One more dino on the floor. Oh, you guys are good at saying that with me. Five dinos dare to limbo dance, to grab a branch and take a stance. Have you guys tried to limbo before? It is not easy. Three curve and bend and step with soul, dipping low to clear the pole. Look at him go. He has a very long neck. That must be extra tricky for him. <laughs> they hear a swish. What's this? One more together. 
One more dino on the floor. All right, so there were five. Now one more is joining. So what comes after five? Six. Six dinos in a breaking groove. With hip hop cool, they rock and move. They drop and swipe, windmill and freeze, baboying on the ground with ease. They hear a swish. What's this? One more. One more dino on the floor. All right, so there were six. Now one more is coming along. That'll make seven. Seven dinos prancing right. They bop to the left and keep it tight. They bounce and kick and walk it out. They cupid shuffle all about. Have you guys done the cupid shuffle before? It's so fun. They hear a swish. What's this? One more. One more dino on the floor. All right, there were seven. They heard a swish, so one more is coming. Uh, onto the floor, how many will that be? Eight, eight dinos jump and jitterbug. They flip and whirl and cut a rug. They slide and split with zest and zing. They flap their tails, they fly, they fling. They hear a swish, what's this? One more? One more dino on the floor. All right, there were eight. And now one more is coming along. How many will that be? What's after eight? Nine. Nine dinos get down as they bustle, work the bump and do the hustle. Stepping, turning side by side, they clap and point, they dino glide. They dance together, big and small, beneath the sun, their disco ball. Tall trees sway, leaves twist and swing, dance steps rumble, rock and ring. They hear a stomp, oh no, a roar, Tyrannosaurus on the floor. The dancers quake and shake with fear, his scary grin makes dinos clear. They watch their guest with worried eyes. And we've talked about worried, right? Worried means you're like a little scared. And then they get a big surprise. What do you think the surprise is? Let's see. The T-Rex spins, stands on his toes. He moonwalks, strikes a funky pose. Holy cow. So the T-Rex isn't there to scare anybody. He's there to dance. The dinos cheer. One dino more. How many friends? 10. Together, 10 dinos party on the floor. at them all having such a good time. Twilight spreads across the sky. They jam until they're parched and dry. Parched means you're thirsty. They gasp and pant. Their tongues hang low. The bash is over. Time to go. The dinos dash to their main goal. A gulp of water at the hole. They slurp, they splash, they laugh, they roll. Then one shakes dry and takes a stroll. She hums and spins and hits the floor and all the dinos dance once more. The end. All right, friends. Did you like that story? I liked it, that was a nice one. Um, so now let's learn how to write the number one. Okay, so that we have a little um, poem, a little phrase that we can say, say when we are writing the number one to kind of help us remember where to start and what to do. So like all letters and numbers, you're gonna start at the top. So the phrase for one goes like this. A straight line down and then you're done. That is how you make a one. Can you say it with me? A straight line down and then you're done. 
That is how you make a one. Very good. Let's try to do it together. Let's sky write it. All right, so um, grab whatever hand you normally write with and you're gonna start at the top. Let's practice it together. A straight line down and then you're done. That is how you make a one. Very good. All right, so I'm gonna show you um, a couple of times here and you can say it again with a straight line down and then you're done. That is how you make a one. One more time. A straight line down and then you're done. That is how you make a one. Very good. Um, so when you're making one, where do you start? Do you start at the bottom and go up? No! Right? We always start at the top. So we go straight line down and then you're done. And that's how you make a one. <laughs> All right, friends. So really good job following along. Um, you have a couple papers um, to practice the number one. So on your, um, your one papers, this is one of the worksheets for you. Um, so there's one caterpillar. So what you're going to do is you're going to start at the top and do a straight line down. And you're going to say that phrase as you make it. And start for this one you should be start on like the dot um but this one is a little special it's got a smiley face so you're gonna start at the smiley face in the top and you're gonna go straight line down and then you're done that is how you make a one all right and then you're gonna do it with this one and this one and this one and then we have another page um where you can do the same thing except you're just gonna start at the top where that number is pull it all the way down and that is how you make a one so you're gonna start always start at the top straight line down straight line down straight line down and you're gonna do that for all of them as a little bonus activity you could draw one of something on the back uh, for these papers if you felt like doing something a little extra um, and wanted to do that all right so um, really good job following along I hope that you enjoyed learning about one and enjoyed our uh, counting story. I'll see you next time. Bye.